Gemini, hello, welcome to your reading for 2021. Um, this is a general reading, and um, I just want to say though that you know a lot of times we'll say like if it doesn't resonate, maybe it's not your reading. But the thing also with tarot is that you want to remember it lets you know where you are, how you got to where you are. Sometimes we're not that clear about where we are. And also it lets you know what's coming towards you. So yes, it may not completely resonate, but before you decide that, I want to encourage you to look at the whole reading, because sometimes as we go forward, you know, late in the day, late in the week, the month, the year, whatever, you realize, ah, oh, that is what we're talking about. And then the guidance actually comes in quite handy. All right. So I'm going to start off your reading with the spellcasting oracle drawing for you i bought this deck of cards specifically for these 2021 readings okay see whatever comes out there's um the focus you know um the focus isn't just love or finance career money the focus is you all right so we'll see what the universe has to say for you i want to really really thank you gemini so much from my heart for all the beautiful support that i've received from all of you throughout the year it's it's, it's more than a blessing. That's, it's really so beautiful. I'm so, so grateful. And for those of you that don't know me or that's, that's first time here at my channel, I'd like to welcome you. My name is Adrian. I'm an intuitive healer. I practice holistic wellness. I'm also a spiritual regression hypnosis practitioner. And um, you are more than welcome to, if it resonates with you, to subscribe to my channel. I do have regular readings coming out. I have also recently paired up with an international company to create a crystal healing course, a 32-week course, and um, I don't have the link just yet because the course is not available just yet, but when it does come available, um, I will put a link for you in the future readings. The first eight weeks of it is actually free, so you can decide, you know, if this is actually for you or not. Um, Let's see. So the first card that comes out for you is the same card, Gemini, that actually came out for Pisces. And it says inspiration. Okay. This is that, um, you know, for those of you that are familiar with the chakras, with the energy systems in the body, that is um, that beautiful solar plexus energy that's coming forward, that inner sort of power, that personal power, that beauty of who you are. Um, I do know that for many of you, you know, um, I think 2019 up until the middle was probably quite okay. And then it kind of got like, you know, 2020. Uh, I feel in 2019 at some point there might have been some sort of beautiful divine intervention for you that might have felt a bit like a curse at the time. But, you know, after which you obviously realized that it was a blessing um, in disguise. But 2020 was a year I feel that you've done a lot of inner work with yourself, you know, like all of us really you were confronted with a lot of things um you know you were probably tripping all over the place you know um still trying to be in control doing the things that you need to do in your everyday tasks um and it could have been a very very challenging time for most of you but um there's also amazing growth that would have taken place as a result that you might not even have been aware of you know i feel that for many of you um you had to really rethink some friendships, um, some connections, um, some family ties even, um, you know, and really discover who you are because um, in the process of life, we sometimes get a little bit lost in who we are. And you really, um, it's like you, you kind of got some perspective. It's, it's like life gave you a break to get some perspective of who you actually are. All right. Let me see which we're going to use for you for a tarot deck today. And we're using the Deviant Moon Tarot, which is incredible. I love this deck. Um, one of my subscribers gave me this deck as a gift. Beautiful. And it was actually delivered right to my door. I'm such a, it's, I'm such a lucky person. Right, so let's look and see for you. None of the other signs had this deck just yet. So I did a reading so far for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Libra. And this one's for you. Makes perfect sense. Makes absolute perfect sense. And let's just get you an overall energy as well. So for many of you, you know, where you are at the moment, it's almost like you are realigning with um, with um, sort of like stability. Your relationship with the world. And look at well, look what came out for overall energy when I said the world, the actual world card. That's your overall energy. Um, so. First of all, 
where you are, this is a wonderful, helpful space. Lots of possibility. You know, lots of things that can happen. Lots of, um, it's for many of you, it's that almost like that inviting sort of calling where there's many gates that are open and many doors that are open and, and there's possibilities again. There's hope in the world, you know. Um, but it, 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 it would have come from a feeling of almost frustration, you know, anger with life, anger with the world. Um, the realization that, listen, there's more to life than this. There's more to me than this. Surely I'm born for more than this, you know. Um, it's, it's the realization that you didn't want to run yourself in circles anymore. Um, and so I, I feel that for many of you, though, you were very sort of set on your, you like your own way. Like you would set that, like, listen, I'm adaptable uh, and those type of things. But in many ways, you might have not been that adaptable, you know. And... Um, so there was that um, almost like a realization that, you know, um, I, I, de I, I deserve more. I need to really invest in myself. You know, um, for some of you, you might have been really sort of giving your power away, you know, giving your energy away. And not necessarily from bad intentions, probably from good intentions, you know. But, you know, um, the thing with Gemini also sometimes is you can have that almost like a savior, you know, mode mentality thing going on. And you're trying to help everybody from the best of intentions. But um, it really sort of, it you know... It, it runs out all your, um, like your energy, even your reserve energy, you know, was depleted here. Um, and I feel that for many of you, um, especially with people, you know, especially with maybe, you know, connections, um, you know, of course there were those times where there were the lockdowns, but there were times when you just didn't see people, where you didn't interact with people, where you maybe didn't reply to people's messages. Um, and it's it's almost like you kind of needed to just sort of take yourself out of the equation to to just find out who you were, you know, um, to not just kind of give your energy away like somebody who's feeding, you know, sort of like um, seeds to the birds, you know, you, you really like, listen, I have to really look at myself, you know, before I go feed the birds in the park and stuff like that, I have to feed the birds in my own garden, you know, I'm in my own space and... Um, it's, it's like where you are at the moment, you've got a real clarity about um, your relationship with others, the intentions that people may have, you know, for being with you. And I feel that for some of you, you could have created a situation. Now, there's two things here. One is that you could have created a situation where there's a lot of people taking advantage of you um, because you didn't, you know, like sort of stand up for yourself. You let them slide. But also on the other end, there's a situation here for some of you where you would have... Um, you know, try so hard to be there for everybody, see that good in everybody um, and their potential and fight so hard for them, which is nothing wrong with, but, you know, sometimes when you fight too hard for other people, we sometimes stop fighting for ourselves because we make sacrifices that are not fair towards ourselves, all right? And um, I can understand, you know, I can... I can um, share compassion and understanding, you know, um, with that sort of patterning, because even though I'm Cancerian, my um, my Mercury and my, Ven my Venus is very strongly in Gemini, so I totally, totally get that, you know, and I love my Geminis, I, oh, I love them. <laughs> um, uh, you can just totally be yourself so much with Gemini, but what was happening over here is that for, for some of you, you know, that beautiful thing where you can just be yourself with Gemini, um, you would get that, and you're able to see so much what it is that other people need, you know, going forward. Um, but it's almost like you knew so much what other people needed, you know, what their personal needs were at a particular point in time, how they were suffering, that you were sort of, um, you know... Um, you would sort of chameleon yourself a little bit, you know, um, with the with probably with the best of intentions, trying to be supportive, trying to be connective, and then some people might have actually turned around and like, oh, you're so too fast, you know. I'm like, oh, you're so flaky. I can't, um, I can't with you. But with this world card, your overall energy, things are really changing here for you beautifully, you know, um, into a whole new light, into a whole new of being. It's like a whole world that you might have always thought this is what's going to be your life. It is changing from there to a new world. And the wonderful thing is you are embracing the new um, with open arms because the old wasn't really working anymore. Okay. 
So for clarifying, we're going to use the Osho deck, which also happens to be a gift that I was given to by one of my subscribers, which also happened to have been dropped off at my door. <laughs> I'm such a lucky person. Um, let's see. So we're going to clarify this overall energy for you, first of all, this world energy. See what we have. I thought that was coming up. Okay. Yeah. Healing from conditioning, healing from patterning. Um, and remember, as we, we were speaking about that solar plexus energy earlier on, unlocking that personal power. It's a space coming into your heart, flowering open, you know, from your heart. Lots of healing taking place. I see many of you going in the direction of actually, you know, sort of like becoming healers. Um, and this is whether you study sort of like a modality of healing or, you know, you, you, you kind of like get involved in a charitable case, um, whatever it is. But I feel whatever you do, it really, um, it serves you very positively. Okay, um, there's a lot of inner healing that's taking place here, um, sort of like, a, I feel for many of you, you know, there's a sort of Leo energy over there, um, that sun energy over there, and for many of you, you know, you were, um, you sort of wanted to put this, um, you know, beautiful persona across and forward, um, not really because you were trying to fool anybody, but, you know, you, you felt that you had to be the sort of, person that was like you know there for everyone and there for every situation and you know um be the strength to others even if you were crumbling up inside you know um that as as long as you you know say maybe gave the sort of advice that you would like to receive to other people then it's fine but it's like you got very entangled uh, and this happens sometimes very entangled in a lot of problems that were not actually your problems you know, it was other people's things. But obviously, it is the energy that we feed that also grows within us. Um, and there's a lot of healing from there. And this is the wonderful thing about when we actually, you know, do, um, you know, do study any form of healing. For example, I teach like, um, I don't really teach numerology, but I do numerology. Um, but I teach Reiki, you know, I do crystal healing, which I teach. Um, I do spiritual regression hypnosis, NLP life coaching, all those type of things. Um... And next year, actually, I'm studying a full course of astrology. I'm so excited. Um, but it's as we're learning those things that we also heal within ourselves because we get to see the patterning that's holding us back, you know, that's not serving us positively. And also for many of you, there might have been a sense of um, loneliness in your life, feeling very isolated, um, you know, almost feeling like, oh, it's just a cup of crowd that I'm going to have to be, you know, hanging out with. I feel that for many of you, and not from an arrogant sense at all, but you were really beginning to feel that, um, you know, unfulfilled, like, you know, like, like, um, where other people sometimes call you flaky, um, you were beginning to feel that the people around you were sort of like flaky, shallow, you know, um, and, and not in a judgmental sense at all, but you were you were wanting to reach for something higher, something more life fulfilling, something more meaningful, and that is coming to you through the healing. So your whole world is about to change in such wonderful ways. Okay, it's like true magic starting to shine through. Let's look at that high priestess, um, which is actually a card in the recent past. Um, beautiful card. Working your way from contradictions, you know. Oh, wow. I feel that for many of you, what you started to do, which really served you so well, is that, you know, this was the problem that I have at the moment, and you focused on this problem. And you didn't say maybe try to, like, avoid what's going on at the moment by, you know, jumping from this. So say maybe you shorten your rent or, you know, um, there's a health concern or a relationship concern or whatever, that instead of, you know, or, or maybe something that's unfortunate event, instead of, um, you know, doing what needs to be done, um, you sort of avoided that by doing something else or speaking about something different, um, you know, Patterns like that and things like, for example, um, 
you know, having like a million things running through your mind because, you know, you are just so capable of dealing with many things. Many of you realize that if you put the, you know, the problems or concerns in isolated little pockets and you dealt with it um, when you could, you know, especially for those of you that maybe lost some loved ones, think, okay, so this thing is beginning to run my life, you know, um, so I'm going to have to deal with this pain and what else do I need to do? So when I, for example, need to work, I need to focus. And so when I don't focus, then say maybe over the weekends or after hours or, you know, before work or whatever, this is when I then allow myself to explore those feelings that I try to cover up by other things. So it's about going into the layers, you know, and this is how we integrate sort of like the light with the dark. Um, and that is how we you know, um, look at our patterning, look at our minds, look at the things that are holding us back, that is withholding us from living our best experience of life. And the wonderful thing is, as we do, um, we sort of grow by default, you know, we, we sort of begin to expand by default, because instead of avoiding something, we're actually dealing with something, and it's very painstaking. For many of you, it was painstaking, um, it was annoying, it was embarrassing. Okay, for, for you personally. Um, but also it was very inspiring because, you know, it made you go forward. You started to take control of things, started to take control of emotions, started to take control of your own feelings, of your own thoughts. Um, and, and where you are right now, this is you really taking control. This is you saying, you know, defy... Uh, like, literally within with very much within the present I, I feel many of you deliberately taking time out to question life is this really who i am is this who i want to be is this how i want to be seen especially by myself um you know um i, I feel for many of you you know you sort of like it's almost like in that space where you may have wanted to, you kind of may have kept yourself in bondage with something for a while, um, you know, wanting to make peace, wanting to explain, um, and now asking yourself, you know what, do I really need to do that? Is this really necessary? You know, um, haven't I sort of suffered enough? You know, um, because for some of you, there, there, there was like a victim mentality that was going on here, keeping yourself running in circles, um, you know, seemingly going forward, but in actual fact, like a hamster just in the same sort of like, like wheel, for example, you know, it's like a bird that is moved from a small cage to a bigger cage and, you know, sort of being under the misconception that you actually have freedom. Um, and some of you were doing that, but then you realize, listen, I still don't have the freedom that I need, that I desire, that I require, okay? Um, and, 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 and you're taking control of that at the moment. And it is, it is this real um, exploration of the mind, you know, that is, that is actually really serving you so positively. Yeah. I feel for many of you, and I can actually really totally get that, you know, there were so many things happening in the world lately, and, you know, we all had to be so serious about things, um, you know, and that, that sort of inner child was told for a while, listen, there's a box, you need to go inside that box, and, you know, just like sitting there like that, like a jack-in-the-box that is waiting to pop open at any moment, um, feeling very restricted, you know, almost like you're not... Uh, in a sense, restricted so much that maybe initially you weren't so much allowed to be yourself and then kind of forgot actually who you are, you know, like, um, and so that would be, you know, that feeling that you would have had that brought you to your current stage where you you wanted to know who you are, who you were, you know, in a sense, many of you would say like, where did I lose my pride along the way, you know, where did I lose my, my, um, you know, my sense of, of individuality. And look at that beautiful coming towards you, letting go of what doesn't serve you positively anymore. Um, even with postponement, which I love, is for many of you, um, as you go forward, and this is great advice also for you as you go forward, is that if you sort of, you know, put something on a back burner, it is really putting it on a back burner with, because I'm not going to do it now, but on the 14th of April on it, okay? Um, which is really, really quite cool. I really, really like that. Oh, look at what's at the bottom of the creator. This is you um, creating your own experience of life, all right, um, as you go forward. 
And if it resonates with you more than welcome to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let's see what we've got for you for an Oracle card. We are using the Angel Answers. So if you've got a question in your mind at this particular point in time, you're more than welcome to ask that question. Or let's see, you know, open yourself to the divine message of the universe. What does the Angel Answers Oracle cards have to say for you? Let's see. Dum, 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 dum. Dum, 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 dum. <laughs> There's one sticking out. Look at this. There's something better. There's so much more that is, you know, that you can still live for, that you can be, um, you know, for those of you that are maybe feeling trapped where you are right now or very limited, you know, very constricted, um, know that there's more available for you in life. And obviously the thing with life is when it lets you know that there's more, it's an invitation for you to experience it more. It, You know, life is not sort of playing, you know, a bullying game with you that says to you, um, you know, there's more available but you can't have it. It's letting you know there's more that's available for you and you can have it. It is available to you, okay? Life can be more beautiful and experience than what you could possibly imagine. Let's get you a direct message from the universe. Direct message from the universe for Gemini for 2021, please. Let's see what we have for you. Yeah. I keep on seeing this Ace of Wands, which is obviously amazing energy. So the first card I've used, the Page of Pentacles which also came out for the Libra reading. But when it was their last card, it's your first card. So, um, you know, if you actually want to look at the Libra reading, um, you know, where they're ending off, that's actually where you are starting, which is amazing. You know, this is brand new ideas to how to expand your personal life in a wonderful ways, you know. Um, now, obviously, I'm not a medical practitioner and I'm not you know, giving you medical advice. I'm just saying that some of you might find that, you know, instead of going to maybe say this medication, going to certain drugs, like certain herbs, or maybe blending the two together, you know, where before maybe you might have come from only a very logical point, now, you know, including the emotions in there. Um, this is you seeing a way to actually live your life in a better way. Three of Pentacles, understanding, you know, um, seeing the new opportunities that are coming your way, all right? The, the new possibilities for beginnings, um, seeing that you may have had these opportunities before and you didn't realize that there were good opportunities before and, you know, you may have, um, in a sense, kind of squandered them away sometimes and now seeing how... They can be really, you know, greatly to your benefit. We've got the Seven of Cups, and then we've got the High Priestess, and I'm going to get you one more card. Two more cards, okay? Five of Cups and the Page of Wands. And so this is you really realizing, you know, because I feel for many of you, you are getting the opportunity to see how far you've come, how far you've grown in life, and... That sometimes means that the same situation comes around, you know, where maybe somebody, you know, did kind of like crappy things to you and they come back and they apologize, but they also apologize sort of like with the intention of wanting to get back into your life. And before you might have allowed that sort of thing where you're now like, you know what, I accept your apology, I appreciate your apology, but, um, you know, respectfully, there's not really a space for you in my life. You know, you may not say it like that, but... Um, this is putting your own emotions first and I feel also there is a there is a lot of um, pain within a lot of you there's a lot of healing there's a lot of old scars old wounds you know um, emotions that were really running your life um, for the longest of time and there's a lot of releasing that putting yourself first asking yourself okay you know this didn't work out, that didn't work out, this is how I messed up, that is how I messed up. But also realizing that it's time for you to let that situation go, to let that boat float away. All right. Um, and that obviously leads to incredible growth all the time. Um, I'm going to draw you one more card. I'm going to draw you one more card, Gemini. Well, two. Eight of Swords and Temperance. Yeah. 
this is when we sometimes still hold ourselves back by certain things and realizing that I can feel compassion, I can feel emotions, I can feel sorrow, you know, I can forgive, I can ask for forgiveness, but it doesn't have to be an emotion that's sort of like, you know, almost kind of take over my complete psyche and make me sick sometimes. So it's the same situation, but using what comes around in very positive senses, okay? Which means you're going to have a brilliantly beautiful year. Um, yeah. So I'm realizing that, you know, certain apologies are never going to come across. Um, but accepting that might be the most beautiful year of your life. Namaste.